Hello, Capricorn. This is your reading for the 17th of October through to the 24th. Let's see what's coming up for you. Capricorn. I did say Capricorn, didn't I? I, I did. I did. Page of Wands, being optimistic, being optimistic about something, the future, being optimistic about the future, optimistic about the future and if you are desiring a move of home or just to make your home nice the place where you already live if you want to beautify that place it is showing up here nice these two just flip around in my hand So, love coming in, something you love coming in, being offered to you by this hand of God, offering you something that you're going to love. A beginning. Could be with a Leo, or you are, for others, could be beautifying yourself as well as where you live. Feeling good about your home, feeling good about your heart, and your heart in your home. For home is where the heart is. <coughs> right? It's coming, patience. And there it is. Justice. So if you feel like something has gone against you, you've been undone by some situation, or just put in a situation where you didn't feel comfortable by something, or someone's actually wronged you, contractually or just in a relationship situation that does look like there's a balancing coming out there also we do have Leo and Libra together here after the Ace of Cups so anyone looking for love could be a Leo with a Libra moon or a Libra with a Leo moon could be any sign Obviously, we've got your energy, Capricorn, with the Queen of Pentacles. Now we've got the Ten of Pentacles. I do feel very fortunate. The amount of times that the Ten of Pentacles shows up in my readings is very, very good. Now that's under the Page of Wands. Ten of Pentacles also, as well as resources, finances, luck, opportunity. It it speaks of family 
It is also one of the best love cards. It is the everything you've ever wanted in your life card. So if you've wanted a really happy home with a loving relationship and something that's going to stand the test of time, then this reading is saying that that is literally on the cards. I can feel some, but there are the cut. There are going to be. Ooh. For you have manifested this. You understand the law of attraction. You know that thoughts become things. And you have manifested this. For others, this is bringing. He's pointing to the sky, the magician, and he's pointing down to earth, making something real, taking your dreams and making them real on earth. Also, because it's coming under the Queen of Swords, the Magician also asks us to use the necessary tools that we have with these suits of the tarot on the table. So, coming under the Queen of Swords, I am definitely saying, use your logic, use your skill, use your mind, plan things. I can just feel that there is going to be, but watch out for this energy coming next. I can, I can feel it. Let's see. Okay, one of the messages coming through is watch out for not tricking yourself out of this. Out of this Ace of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. This time, it's coming out. So this is definitely something that is coming in. The opportunity for this is coming in. Now this guy here, he's staring at these three cups and he is actually missing this fourth cup that the universe is offering. I'm, I'm not getting any missing thing, but that might resonate with some. I'm getting this is straight up coming in. And it is love and money. Even though the reading isn't... This is what I like about it. There's only two cup cards and only two pentacles cards but we do have a lot of people in the reading one two three four five six people so this is definitely involving people knight of pentacles okay so you know when i said um things to watch out for Watch out for maybe taking things too slowly. <clears throat> Don't rush into a love situation. But if there's an opportunity to earn money, jump on that quickly. Walking away from things that no longer serve you. It also has a journeying energy on it. So what do you think you might need to walk away from? Ah, walking away from doing things slowly. Procrastination. When it comes to the, if a job opportunity is coming in. Even if it seems a bit risky, I think there is opportunity in that. The Hermit. Which is also a Virgo energy. So right 
at the end of the reading here, we have this Leo Libra Virgo energy going on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna clarify. I'm gonna pull some cards from this other deck to the Arcanum. 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 judgment on the page of wands so it looks like there's going to be a communication coming in that is going to be a wake-up call and it's going to give you the opportunity to look to the future with optimism mm -hmm. and it's going to be the, also the opportunity to close out the cycle and start something new on the queen of pentacles the moon so the moon tells us to keep going, to sort of release any fear of the unknown. On the Queen of Pentacles. On the Ace of Cups, the Chariot. So this love could be coming rushing in. And I said, what did I say? Jump on the job opportunity, but maybe just take it easy with the love thing. Not back off, but just take it slow. If they want to move in straight away, this potential Leo, Libra, Virgo could be any sign. If they want to move in straight away, then... Mm. So on the strength card, we have the devil. So maybe that's something to look out for. The strength card is the Leo card. The six of cups on the Libra card. So if you used to be with a Libra, I think releasing that is definitely something that is important. So the Five of Swords with the Ten of Pentacles is a kind of winning at all costs energy. Being determined. The Magician, the Six of Swords. So being determined to take the journey, to walk to the top of that mountain. I mean, look, you got these two cards in a row. It looks like he's setting off on a journey to walk to the top of a mountain. King of Pentacles on the Four of Cups. And that is underneath the Queen of Pentacles clar clarified by the moon, so... Divine counterparts there in the middle of this reading. Seven of Cups on the Knight of Pentacles, yes. Exactly that Knight of Pentacles energy. Don't don't get caught in overwhelm. Don't don't be procrastinating. That is the word I used on the Knight of Pentacles. On the Eight of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles. So a kind of change of direction. To get what you want. A change of direction. To stop giving your energy to things that are taking it from you. Possibly um, negative situations. Toxic people. All that kind of thing. Page of Pentacles. So your reading started with the Page of Wands. And it ends with the Page of Pentacles. So, newness. Do the new thing. Don't get stuck in old patterns. Because there is a real opportunity for you to use your powers of manifestation. And get everything you ever wanted. Ten of Pentacles and the Magician. Okay, Capricorn, thanks for being here. Take care. Bye.